Hello again, I'm Cindy Drozda. I was just doing a demonstration, live remote demonstration, for the Woodturners of Southwest Missouri, and I made this piece here in the demonstration, but I didn't have time during the session to put my signature on the bottom, so I'm going to do that now. So I put the piece back on the lathe to finish the bottom so that I can sign it uh, properly. I want to fill the engraving with this gold filler material, and in order to keep the gold from getting all smeared all over the place, I want a sealed surface on the bottom of the piece. I'm not going to finish the whole piece. Normally, what I would do is I would be um, putting on six coats of water locks, and then at that point, after the finish was all dry, that's when I would be signing it. But I would have sanded it, of course, while it was on the lathe at kind of a point like this, more or less. So I'm sanding here, starting with 400. And I'm happy that I'm sanding a bunch of the color off because that's going to make it look kind of nice. And the very middle, and we'll do with some 1,000, and then I'm going to put on CA glue as a sealer. This is a nice idea on any really porous wood like box elder, which is what this is. Uh, but really, the six coats of water locks is usually enough. I'm I'm only I'm mainly doing this now because. Uh, this is a demo piece, and I'm not going to wait a week to sign it. Turn the lathe on, and a little bit of friction from the from the paper towel cures the CA glue. And I might put on another coat. I'm looking for it to be really smooth and shiny. I think another, just a little, a little drop of glue on a paper towel and smearing it on the wood. And start the lathe up and put on some pressure to kind of get it to cure. And once it's cured, I'll use some thousand grit just to sand, smooth out mainly the surface of the foot. So there's what we have now. Looks great. What I'm going to use to engrave is my uh, Dremel vibrating engraver. It's not a rotary Dremel. It's a vibrating one with a sharp carbide point. And it makes a nice imprint in the wood. I, I like using this because I can control it like as if it were a pencil. Um, and I've never been that good with a wood burner. But as you'll see when I do it, it doesn't give much contrast with the wood. So here we're going to we're going to sign the sealed surface. Here's my engraver. And it might make a bit of noise, uh, hopefully not too bad. Here we go. When I sign a demo piece, I sign my name. Well, I do that on all of them. And then I'm going to put the date, because a demo piece it's a piece of history. I'll write demo on there so that no one thinks it's my finest work. And then I want to put down the initials of the club I made it for. We're going to say Wood Turners of Southwest Missouri. So there it is.
not much contrast. So to give a little contrast there, I'm going to use this engraving filler material. It's a lacquer stick by Mark All. Well, let's leave that up here for a minute. Okay, sure, why not? It's a it's a hard stick of material of some kind, and it it dries out on the on the edge. So I have to first break away the the skin that forms on the outer surface, and then I can put in. the material in the engraving, just rubbing it into the engraving. Rub it in. Wipe off the excess. Now if I had put a couple of decorative V grooves on here, which I did, but then I sanded them off. I could fill the V-grooves with the gold, or I could choose not to. My choice. So there we have more contrast, but you can kind of see that little bit of haze in the, on the surface from the gold. I'll take some 4,000 grit jeweler's abrasive material and just buff that off. It takes the shiny out, and that looks great. Okay, now it's really all done. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed my demo today.